Hello and welcome to nepaltraveler.com. We are back again with another episode of Nepal Travel Trade Talk. Today we are in this wonderful setting of the Lemon Tree Premier in Budangal Kanta and we'll be in conversation with the GM, Mr. Manoj Thapa, who is a veteran in the tourism industry who's worked his way in the hospitality industry in India and he is the launch GM of this property, this wonderful property. Hello, sir, and welcome to Ashu. Thank you, Kevin. Oh, sorry. Thank you, Terence. <laughs> so, sir, name. to start with, uh, would you like to share with our viewers a little bit about how you entered into tourism and you made your career here, you made your name here? <clears throat> okay, so, so uh, I would rather, you know, post myself as an accidental hotelier, Terence. I did my graduation from Delhi University and I was eyeing for defense services. I in fact cleared my CDS exam and I, uh, I was about to go for my SSP and people, you know, um, they forced me to come for a football match and there in a that stupid match I broke my cartilage. And when I broke my cartilage, I didn't get to know about it. But when I went to the SSP, they detected it and I was the board out. So, I came back frustrated, not being able to go into the defense forces. And uh, one fine day, I got to know that High Agency Delhi, who have uh, taken out one of their program, a management program, one and a half year management program. Uh, it was open that time, you know. It opened in 84 actually, but this was in 86 when they launched this program. And uh, I also, you know, applied for it with my friends of course and uh, um, I got through and I was enrolled in their management program. After that I started enjoying it because uh, I was a science student and this was all related to science you know food is all related to science food uh, or your wines and your, and your spirits so I started enjoying it and from there my career started then I never looked back and um, I then started with Hyatt, Radisson, Marriott, a lot of brands I worked with. And with the lemon tree and coming to Nepal, would you like to share how that happened <coughs> and as a launch GM? Okay, so I was um, I was comfortably uh, sitting in New Delhi, in the heart of the city, Connaught Place. There's a hotel called Royal Plaza, which is a 450 room property, a big property. Uh, no bothering for business and all, because business used to flow. It was central of the city. So I was happily working there and I got a call from uh, one of my acquaintance in lemon tree. Shwali heads the development sector and she said, would you be interested in going to Nepal? Okay, I have this attachment with the Nepal, being Nepali, you know, from the roots. I have this attachment with the Nepal, with Nepal. So I said, let me discuss with my wife and then I'll tell you as to whether I'll be able to go there or not. And then when my wife heard about uh, this Nepal project, she was very excited. She said, let's go and see how Nepal looks like. And uh, finally, I'm here. And setting up the, the lemon tree premiere in Nepal, how challenging, any memorable things that you'd like to share with us, setting up a hotel right okay, here? Okay, so when I came in here in the month of uh, October, 1st of October, I came here and I came to the site. So I saw this hotel which was full of scaffolding all over the place. The work was going on. We had a small office next door. Uh, we were sitting there working. And I looked at the hotel and I said, A, it was very uh, difficult terrain coming from there to here because that time even the road was this road which was built later on was not built. It was absolutely a, you know, a tattered road with a lot of pebbles on it. So while driving from Park Village, I was landed in Park Village, I was staying there. While driving from Park Village to this place, <coughs> it took us almost about 20 minutes. Though it's a five minutes ride from there, 20, 25 minutes, because it was all ups and downs, the road was cracked, all those things. So I was wondering as to where do people decide to make the hotel. So when I came here, I saw the scaffolding and I had a chat with the uh, ownership, but they said we wanted to launch in January. This is October, we are talking about, okay, so three months. So I looked at the hotel, I said, January, boss. In my heart of heart, I know that's not possible because I've done three hotels in project stage. So I know it's not possible at all. I, I didn't say anything to them. I said, okay, let's give it a try. And we started working. And you know how project works. It's almost slow and steady. Uh, 
they don't want to get out of the project. So in two months, I did not see any development happening. So third month, I declared to the ownership that we are moving into the hotel. The hotel has no nothing. They have no washroom, no nothing. I said, we are moving into the hotel. So we got one room cleaned and we all shifted there. So I had only HR and the engineer with me, nobody else, three people. We shifted into the hotel. We literally, we started hiring because we know that January uh, they are planning to open. I know that it's not possible, but we wanted to give it a shot. So uh, what I did to push the project and to give them a little, uh, you know, pressure, I took a wedding on 31st of January of 500 people. So now that the wedding is coming up and we took the advance also, they have to push. Yeah. To do it. We started hiring from the month of December. We finished our hiring by first week of January. We uh, pushed our housekeeping team to clean the hotel, started from top to bottom, floor wise we were cleaning. So we initially started from first of uh, 31st of January with banqueting and two floors. So that's how it was an incredible experience because normally a uh, project takes a lot of time but if you, uh, you know, you take things in your hands, since it's your baby you need to carry it. If you take things in your hand, nothing is impossible, that's what I've heard. And then people here are very committed and very hard working. The team, I have fantastic team. So they pushed it and I gave them this date of opening and they said, okay, fine, sir, we'll do it. And we opened in January 31st. Also the lemon tree brand. Uh, would you like to tell us a little bit about the lemon tree in India and then <clears throat> the plans for Nepal? Okay, so we recently finished our 20 years of operation. 30th of May was lemon tree's uh, sort of anniversary, you can call it 20th anniversary. Uh, lemon tree was started by a gentleman by the name of uh, Patu Keswani. His full name is Patanjali Keswani. He is uh, a renowned uh, entrepreneur of uh, India. His IIT and I am pass out. He started from a very small hotel in Gurgaon. There was a plot of 500 square yard where he started with 39 rooms uh, way back in 2007. <coughs> so 2004, sorry, not 74. And uh, one thing which is uh, uh, in Patu's mind at that point in time is that he wanted to give equal opportunity to everybody. So people who came with him from Taj Hotel, leaving their jobs. And Taj is a big organization, leaving a very comfortable, very guaranteed job and joined a new venture. They are still with him and they are still doing very well in the uh, company. <clears throat> so Lemon Tree uh, started with, of course, um, Indian hospitality, which is known for its courtesy, its uh, taking care of the guest, exceeding guest expectation, all those things. They the first hotel which was launched in Gurgaon was a great success and then it was never looking back. But in the journey of development and expansion, they started giving equal opportunity to every person. So we have at this point in time 110 operational hotel and our workforce would be close to about, if you take 100 per hotel, it's about uh, 10,000 odd people, right? <coughs> so. We have 12.5% of our employee which are uh, under ESG category. So ESG means employ, uh, environmentally social, uh, environmental social governance. So we give equal opportunity to specially able people. Okay. We give equal opportunity to transgenders. We give equal opportunity to economically uh, downtrodden people. So also, it is a pet friendly hotel also, we give equal opportunity to the pets also. So that is our motto that to give equal opportunity to every individual who has a right to live in this country or in this world. So Lemon Tree has its own motto, they are very environmentally sensitive. We've been awarded so many, uh, you know, awards uh, in the past also being a environmentally sensitive hotel. Uh, we take uh, every, uh, you know, uh, effort to ensure that we do not commute the uh, the or pollute the environment we also take care of the community around us we do uh, in this hotel also we have done a lot of community exercise we've done a community cleaning exercise we've done uh, <clears throat> painting competition for kids of the community we on the mother's day 
we hosted all the mothers of the town here. So we are very, you know, environment, um, economically, social governance person. Also, lemon tree uh, premier is probably the first lemon tree property in Nepal. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> so we have we there? have um, uh, seven brands. So Red Fox is our um, economic hotel. So lemon tree hotels is our upscale hotel. Lemon tree premier is our upper upscale hotel, and uh, Orica is our uh, luxury brand. Similarly, on the other side, we have Keys, Keys Select, Keys Prima and uh, key uh, prima select there is one more so these are equal brand which are equal to lamentary hotels lamentary premier and orica so we have uh, seven operating brand which we operate lamentary premier is the first one in nepal there is another one coming up in Biratnagar. but we have signed up seven hotels which are going to be coming all over nepal is there one coming in chitwan also <clears throat> chitwan is already open chitwan uh, was i think Tiger uh, Tigerland yeah. Safari, which is now converted into so it's already resort. done. It's, it's already operational. It's already operational. Yeah. So, sir, coming into Nepal and with a new property, as you said, there was no place. You had to come in and on a deadline. What has been your experience of Nepal? What is the experience of you know working here, getting a team together? How has that been? Okay. So Nepal, uh, unlike uh, Delhi, I would say, or like India, is not on a very fast track. People are slightly laid back, you know. So it's uh, uh, in India coming from there. Your when your tempo is hundred percent, and you have to work through your competition. You have to run for everything, every small piece of business. Nepal, I see that uh, it's a very, it's a slightly, slightly slow uh, country. So uh, people have their own options. People have their own priorities. They don't rush for everything. Uh, Okay, skill labor is slightly a problem here because I guess uh, people who are <coughs> literate, uh, technicians who do BHMs or higher study, they move out of the country. <coughs> so the skilled labor becomes a slight problem, but whoever you hire, they are very emotionally connected with your organization. So if you treat them well, you keep them well with yourself, they'll die for you. I have experienced this because <clears throat> I have a fantastic team. I my HODs stand by when there is an event happening till about eight, nine, ten, eleven hours or so. I've seen that people don't work here more than eight hours, yes. but we have a privilege that nobody even utters about. <clears throat> that's the kind of culture we are trying to set up in our organization, and that's why people i very happy working in a brand which gives them their priorities, which gives them their facilities, which gives them, give them back what they expect from them. So we <coughs> have seen that <coughs> here the, uh, the work culture is very easy. Even the owners, they're demanding, but they're not as demanding not as demanding. Indian owners. Okay. So it's a very, you know, respectful, um, environment whether it's a uh, ownership and management whether it's the staff and management whether it's leadership and subordinate it's a very respectful um, relationship between each other so coming to the guest uh, you've recently launched the hotel <coughs> what's the feedback like and what's the business like i mean what what are people saying about lemon tree what's the good thing about it <coughs> okay so the uh, See, the criteria of judging guest feedback is the social platform, right? So we have TripAdvisor, we have Booking.com, we have MMT. These are the Agoda. These are the areas where people give comments and you get to know as to how your hotel is performing. So Touchwood, luckily, we are number one among our comp set. If I take the comp set, we are 9.4 on Booking.com out of 10. Okay. We have five rating on TripAdvisor and on Make My Trip, <coughs> we have 4.7 out of five. So people have given a lot of good comments about this hotel. The services are exceptional. The food is exceptional. The warmth which the staff showcase while coming or while receiving any guest 
with his khala on 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 the shoulder welcoming them you know like traditional nepali way every step they go and you know assist the guest whether it is the health club or the spa or the restaurant so we give personal attention to every person who is coming into the hotel whether he is a local or he is a traveler that is what keep us on top of our competition and give an edge to our visit so coming to the hotels especially yours as a new hotel what do you think as a government as a country as an associations we can do to get more tourists into nepal because there are hotels and we need to fill these hotels also okay so it is an ironical thing here that nepal is such a beautiful destination i have not explored the entire nepal but as a first timer i've been to dulikel and i've been to nagarkol beautiful place but the infrastructure driving from here to dulikel driving from here to nagarkol is a nightmare government has to realize this that to promote tourism the infrastructure has to be good if you look at pokhara or if you look at chitwan they are what about 150 200 km away from from kathmandu and domestic flights people generally it's not the destination which is important it's a journey which is important people don't want to hop into a plane 20 minutes flight going to pokhara look pokhara and come back if the infrastructure is good from here to pokhara or here to chitwan which is about 150 to 200 kilometers from here and if a drive is 4 hours 5 hours to pokhara i mean 200 km hence you can do in 5 hours easily people would like to travel from here to pokhara in their car enjoying the journey in road people would like to travel from here to chitwan enjoying the journey in road but look at this condition of the roads <laughs> the point is the government is has to promote this destination we have i mean last year i was reading the hand report about i think 1 million people came 1 point something 1 yes. 1 million 1 point something okay out of 60% was indian <clears throat> now a place like nepal 1 million is nothing is negligible if you look at the figures coming into other destination you would be surprised they go 10 fold 20 fold than what nepal is getting <clears throat> if you been able to project this destination to international market the way it is and government would put in some effort to improve the infrastructure i am dead sure that this would be most promising destination in south east asia people are sick of going to bali people are sick of going to you know phuket and all those things same old thing here other than the scenic view you get a natural tranquil atmosphere you re gets rejuvenated this is a place of saints you they call it a place of saints so you get that positive vibes here i think the government should run the campaign <clears throat> more effectively government should take part with the organization association like han and all and then they should promote this destination vigorously in the international market you have a better idea of the indian market what specifically do you think we should be doing when it comes to india to promoting <coughs> destination weddings or what kind of stuff should we be okay so i was i was uh, you know um, recently i was with uh, han to china they were promoting Uh, Nepal to uh, in China destination to China and i was talking to one of the officials of the han i said you should be rather promoting nepal to india because 60% of your uh, tourists are coming from nepal oh sorry for india and trust me uh, terence indians are the one who are spending a lot of money han was promoting destination wedding in india destination wedding is 5 billion dollar market 5 billion dollar but i was talking to one of my very uh, you know good friend who does a lot of uh, celebrity weddings so i said i've now joined here why don't you promote bring some our hotel as a destination she said i can promote your hotel but look at the restriction you have in the customs 
so indian weddings are all pomp and show so the ladies would go with lot of jewelry their you know accessories uh gold clothes all those things now you have a restriction of 50 uh, grams of gold at the custom 50 gram the even her bracelet is going to be 150 gram okay <coughs> so if you have that kind of a restriction how would you get destination wedding coming to nepal it's a very easy destination <clears throat> and if you look at the value for money indian rupees uh, is you know a, a better here so if you ease out your you know restrictions you will and if you get 1% of the uh, business which is coming as a destination wedding to nepal trust me you'll do wonders and beside the hotel earning <clears throat> you can see the other sector also earning from destination wedding you have you'll be required for transportation the <clears throat> beauty uh, um, goods all those things are going to be promoted by one destination wedding so they should ease out their uh, restrictions in custom they should ease out the restriction in other sectors so that the tourists can flow in freely so as a final question because there are number of new hotels that have launched branded chains uh, and still more coming yeah where do you see that leading to as a new hotel that you've launched i mean where's the business is that market really feasible to add so many new hotels okay so tell us whenever a new hotel come they do their study they always do their due diligence and see as to whether the business is available in the market or not see nepal is opening up they have other projects also coming in and around the hotel so they have signed the bro uh, uh, bro like bro the thing with china so the business will come in that's why people are opening hotel the size of the pie is increasing slowly however it's going to be a long term game so whoever will sustain in terms of making their guests happy in terms of giving new things to the locals because local is a big chunk of business here we can't avoid that we can't you know uh, close our eyes on the locals because your weekends are normally filled with the locals so you have to give something unique you have to give something new to ensure that the local keep coming to you and if you can sustain your local and international market and make a fine balance you will do good in the market so hotels are coming up but the size of the business also improving there are a lot of project coming up there are a lot of investor coming up in nepal so i am hopeful and keeping my finger crossed the business will grow and everybody will get their fair share thank you so much sir for taking the time to talk with us we wish you all the best and hope to meet you thank you well. there is all the best so.